Hello again, it's uh, Simon Keeling here, everybody, and just wanted to give you a quick whiz through the wins for uh, this weekend. As usual, this video is exclusive to Swiss subscribers, so thanks for being a member. Uh, I'm not going to take long on this video because uh, we're dominated basically by Westley wins, but just a couple of things I wanted to give you a heads up on. Um, this is the pressure chart for uh, Midday on Friday. Let's just get rid of me there. Uh, see an area of low pressure here across southern Scandinavia. That's going to be clearing away Friday morning. Could bring some strong winds down these eastern coasts for a few hours on Friday morning. Could be looking at northwesterly 6, perhaps clipping a 7 across northern coasts of East Anglia. Ridge of high pressure then builds in, look, out towards the west. That's that little end shape in the ice bars there. An improvement coming through, winds easing off, but then we've got this front out to the west which is coming in and will bring rain into Ireland and western Scotland in the afternoon that then slipping down into northern England and Wales overnight. Now this feature, really like many of them over the weekend, just gets blown out as it comes eastwards and southwards during the course of Friday into Saturday. So though it looks very threatening, actually it is only going to be northern areas that see most of that. Of course, that's not good if you're in the north, is it? Here's the pressure chart. Uh, this is midnight tonight. Look, I'm going to take you back a few hours. There's the area of low pressure in the North Sea. Watch how it clears away eastwards. But brings this, hits this east coast with these strong winds. Here's our ridge of high pressure coming in during the course of Friday. There it is as it moves its way eastwards during Friday, but then we pick up these stronger westerlies look for northern and western Scotland, western Ireland, perhaps coming down the Irish Sea during the course of Friday evening. And then overnight into Saturday we get this straight westerly flow coming through during Saturday, and uh, by the middle of the day Saturday here's how the pressure situation looks. By then this cold front is just a real weak affair, uh, not much left on it apart from a band of cloud. I think we're looking at um, <clears throat> west south west is probably around a five, uh, four, possibly five along the southern English coasts. I think running up these western coasts, west south westerly six, possibly touching a seven off northwest Scotland, west south westerly fives down the eastern coast of England, a six for eastern parts of Scotland. And then as we go through the course of Saturday evening, we've well, still got this westerly flow in, but it's out to the west I want to draw your attention because watch what develops. An area of low pressure is going to be moving in. Now, we're a few hours away from this. This is 72 hours from the model initialization time. So we're looking at midnight Saturday into Sunday. But this is one to watch. Watch where that develops over the next few days. If it's further south, it could bring very strong winds further southwards through the country. There it is at 6 o'clock uh, Sunday morning. And by then, I think we've got gales across much of western Scotland, north of the Irish Sea, western parts of Ireland too. And very strong winds down these uh, coasts. I think sixes, sevens through the Irish Sea quite easily. Could touch a six in this far southwestern parts of, um, well where are we, Southern Irish Sea, Lundy, sort of Eastern Seoul area. West of the Channel could touch a five for a time, more typically fours running up through the Channel, but sixes down these eastern coasts on Saturday morning. And then the low passes north of Scotland on Sunday. This is a really nasty feature potentially. Um, GFS making more of it than the Met Office are. Um, Met Office chart for midday Sunday looking something like this. So you see how the GFS has deepened it quite considerably off the um, away from the Met Office chart. Need to watch that. GFS are normally pretty good at this sort of thing. I think widespread gales across northern parts of Scotland could be up to a nine here. I think lighter winds further south, but still southwesterlies fours, possibly fives through parts of the channel. Fives and sixes up these western coasts. Sixes, but sevens and eights across eastern Scotland. I think sixes down these eastern coasts. Fives probably around the coast of East Anglia and South East England. And then into um, next into the end of Sunday, the low pressure clearing away, the isobars opening outlook and the winds falling much lighter across southern areas. We're probably into threes and fours by then across the south, but fours and fives running up these east, these western coasts. I think still gales for northeast Scotland through the latter part of Sunday, southwesterly fives down these eastern coasts. And then as we head in towards Monday, complex area of low pressure to the north, still got this southwesterly flow. Starting to see some hints look of pressure building out to the southwest and this is where the story takes us through the middle to the end of next week but it's not going to happen yet because this low has still got more in it as we get through into Monday and you see how it just deepens and stays to the northwest of Scotland increasing the flow again down these western coasts of Scotland and Western Ireland but elsewhere lighter probably fours through the channel fours up these eastern coasts perhaps fives and sixes for the eastern coasts of Scotland and then 
Here's the average of high pressure looks starting to get itself in to southern England by midnight Tuesday. So this is Monday into Tuesday. Still low pressure close to the north. But you need to watch this feature out towards the west here because um, I think that out here to the west is another area of low pressure which will develop and probably move towards the northwest of Scotland may bring a risk of gales again for northern and western Scotland, Western Ireland during the course of Wednesday before high pressure builds in properly across the south of the country middle to the end of next week. Okay, sorry that was a bit rushed, told you it was going to be a quick one, but uh, thanks for watching and have a great weekend.